Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting, fun-filled, and action-packed week of sales. Never took a lap. Aw, what part of the jack of you? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. This looks terrible. All right, so today is Tuesday, July 13th. July's just flying by, and I'm okay with that because uh, we're going on vacation at the beginning of August, and um, we're not going to be on the diet during that period of time. So Sarah and I both have a list of things that we are partaking in while on vacation, including some adult beverages, I'm sure. So really excited about that. July can go as fast as it wants, <laughs> as long as we still make money. Um, yeah, we did good today. Uh, first day off the sale, was a little nervous, but uh, turned out pretty good. So, uh, first thing up is this. This is a Sugar Cult Rock Band t-shirt. Some of these sales are still left over from yet late in the evening yesterday. I think there was like an hour or two where we were on sale and after the What Sold video. So some of the sales might be left over. That and a few offers and so forth. So uh, a few of them might seem to be a little cheap. But anyways, Sugar Cult Rock Band concert t-shirt right here. Pretty cool. We got this in that lot with Craig's friend. Uh, this sold for $15 plus shipping. Sold some uh, vintage York Craft Prestwood antique fire engine plaques. There's one of them. There's four of them in this pack right here. Uh, they're just like wood art fire engines. They're, they're kind of cool actually. 20 bucks for these. Not bad. Plus shipping. Sold some Levi's. I know. And they're not blue Levi's. Amazing. Uh, Levi's 541. I actually saw a pair of these today. Uh, probably should have grabbed them because these didn't do bad. Levi's 541 right here. Size 36, 34. 15 bucks for these. Plus shipping. Sold a record. Sold one of these already. This is the second one. Uh, we had two of them. Uh, this is uh, Sounds to Make You Shiver again. Haunted Records. So scary. Uh, sold for 10 bucks. Plus shipping. Sold Cabbage Patch. Oddly enough, the Cabbage Patch behind me is starting to uh, get overgrown, I guess we'll say. The big one's gone, though, so it's a little lighter, but there's actually more in a box. So um, This is a Cabbage Patch um, blonde hair, blue eyes with dimples and a closed mouth in pajamas. Right here. She's got her PJs on. She's ready for bed. Uh, it's actually the footy pajamas. I want a pair of those in my size, even though I look like a complete idiot. I'm sure they're super comfortable. Uh, <laughs> just picturing myself in footy pajamas. Probably not a good sight. Um, she sold for $20 plus shipping. Sold another one. Same buyer. This one's cool. This one's a 1980 Cabbage Patch doll. Brown hair. Brown eyes. Right here. I love how they all got kind of like mini, mini froze going on. It's pretty awesome. Um, from the 1980s, also $20 plus shipping. Sold a women's burnout blue daisy print sleeveless shirt. So it's just a, uh, it's a tank. It's a women's tank top right here. Um, I think this was Sarah's actually. Size 2X, sold for $10 free shipping. Uh, we sold some ephemera. We were really big into the ephemera and then it just all kind of fell off. Um, this is more farm ephemera. We got a lot of it from uh, this auction. Um, it's pretty cool. It's all about like hog sales and stuff from like the early 30s. And then we've got like old letters about farms. Uh, this farm sale was f 19, January 21st, 1949. And then there's like old letters sent to the farmers. Um, there's a litter record, Hampshire litter record. Pretty cool. Filled out by the farmer. 
Um, and then there's old advertisements for farm sales. There's all kinds of stuff in here. It's really cool. Um, both packs of these, $25 plus shipping for those. Sold a doll. She's not super creepy. She's from the 50s. This is Joni Walker. Um, right here. She's still in the box. You would think she'd be worth a lot more. Doll from the 50s, still in the box. It says you can comb, curl, and dye. Dino? And curl my dino hair. You can comb, curl my dino hair. Whatever that is, it says right up there. Her eyes are opening, which is just super creepy when it does that. I walk, sit, and turn my head. How adorable. $30 for her, plus shipping. Sold a Schwinn bag. We have two of these. Um, Pretty cool vintage Schwinn bag. Uh, we got this at the funeral home sale. <laughs> I know we have a lot of new subscribers, so maybe I'll explain this when I keep saying the funeral home sale. If you go back a few weeks, you'll see that we actually went to uh, what well, was an online auction, and they bid per room. So you bought every all the contents in the room, and you could take what you want and leave what you don't. Um, so we won two rooms, and it was at an old funeral home, and it was hot in there. But yeah, one of the weirdest sales we've ever been to, and also one of the most profitable. A lot of these old bags were selling for good money. This one included $17 plus shipping for the shrimp bag. And it was all new, too. So, it's all another record. This is probably one, if you see it, you can just walk by it. This is Eddie Rabbit. Um, what's the name? The best of Eddie Rabbit. I guess he's had more than one song. I'll be drinking my baby. I mean, okay. Uh, yeah. I don't think I know any of these songs. Maybe Hearts on Fire. I might know that one. Anyways, Eddie Rabbit, 375 plus shipping. Sold a Gap men's t-shirt. Uh, Sarge, Sarge, size large. New with tags right here. Just your plain, kind of plain gray t-shirt with like a little palm tree print on the pocket. Uh, $10 plus shipping for that. Sold some uh, silicone spoons and spatulas here. Um, and a brush. These are like, uh, you know, like a spatula. We got a basting brush here. We got another spatula. Uh, I guess that's not, that's a spatula. And then like two really shallow spoons. Um, these are all William Sonoma eight piece red silicone set. $39. People love William Sonoma, especially it's got the tag still on it. Really good. $39 plus shipping for that. Sold a High Times magazine. Everybody will recognize this face. This is from 1992, so I guess a 10 year anniversary, not 12, that'd be 12 year anniversary. Lennon was killed in 80. So there's John Lennon right there on the cover of High Times Magazine. I always like these. Did the Indian smoke pot? Maybe. There's a 1 900 number on the back. I doubt that's still active. 1 900 9 8 times. I don't think they even have 1 900 numbers anymore. How to beat urine tests. Funny. Oh, these magazines. $10 plus shipping. Can't believe we got this from a, uh, an old old person's estate sale. So that was pretty interesting. Uh, sold a book, Vintage uh, Ellery, Queen's 20th Century Detective Stories. Pretty cool uh, book. Uh, paperback, so not bad for a paperback. $5.89 free shipping. Sarah's, Sarah's selling the crap out of this uh, this uh, shampoo, this Avon Techniques shampoo. It must be really good because it sells almost instantaneous. It's less than a day, most of these sit around. I believe this is shampoo and conditioner. I'll let there we go. Um, yeah, so two bottles, two in one shampoo and conditioner. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It must be good stuff because people buy it pretty quickly. $20.50 free shipping for that. Sold a, a light bright uh, vintage toy. This is not the actual vintage light bright. Uh, this is a remake of a light bright. So it's not the one from the 80s, but it is uh, a newer one. I'm trying to find a date on it for you guys. So you know, yeah, this is 2019 copyright, so um, it's not new, or it's not, you know, vintage. So the vintage ones are worth a lot of money, especially if they're in the box. But this $21 plus shipping, or sorry, free shipping on that, not bad. We paid we paid 5 bucks for it, I think. Sold some 10 cent comics. These are Dell, Walt Disney, 10 cent comics. I overpaid for these. I think I paid like uh, $7 for both of these. 
Um, Ten cent comics so, most of the time are worth some money. These are not. Um, Spin and Marty. Whew. Riveting stuff, I'm sure. Um, two comics, eight dollars and fifty cents plus shipping. So made a dollar, but could have been better. Still selling that raffia right here. There's just a bag of raffia. I found a bunch of these at the bins. Thought, eh, we'll buy them. They probably cost us five bucks for the whole thing. We've been selling each one of these for five bucks. Um, five dollars plus shipping. Next up is this. This is a Nike men's uh, pit Oakland Zoo, Oakland Panthers Zoo shirt. Um, if you don't know, the campus of Pitt is actually located in the borough of Oakland, so right outside of the city of Pittsburgh. Still considered the city of Pittsburgh, but it's in Oakland. Um, it is a uh, men's size extra large, new with a tag, so there's a tag on it right there. Uh, it is official Nike merchandise, $26 retail, so we didn't do bad. Uh, we got this for like a dollar. It came with a bunch of other shirts that we got at an auction. Um, $11 free shipping for that. Sold a, another tank top. This is an Abercrombie, or I'm sorry, American Eagle tank top. I just get those two confused. I don't know why. American Eagle tank top right here. It's just a red, white, and blue tank top. You know, it's funny. I shouldn't get American Eagle confused because their headquarters are, believe it or not, are here. Um, $7.50 plus shipping. Sold a heart William Sonoma olive wood heart shaped salt box. It's a heart. You put your, your salt in it and you know, on your steak or chicken or vegetables, whatever, whatever you want. Uh, $15 for that, plus shipping. And last for today, I don't know if you're a viewer, Nate, but if you are, let me know. Um, appreciate it. This is uh, two of the wax packs from that uh, auction last week um, sold. This is the 91 Fleer baseball cards. There's seven of them in there. And then the... Um, I, series one Donruss, I think they are from 1991 as well. So both of these same buyer, uh, $8 for these, $5 for these plus shipping. We're going to combine shipping and refund the difference. Well, everybody, welcome back. Today is Wednesday, July 14th. And, uh, overnight sales were dismal. They were almost non-existent. We sold one thing overnight um and then throughout the early morning hours nothing really so started another sale 20 percent off again because that just seems the only way we're going to keep business consistent so i don't know maybe from here on out i'll just put our whole store on sale till the end of august or something i don't know <laughs> just it, it seems to be the only thing keeping us from having that summer slowdown and that's fine. I mean, we're we're okay with that. Um, we do buy our things enough where that 20% doesn't really hurt on most items. There are some items where I'm like, oh, whoops. Um, like that book we sold last week where we like made 10 cents or something. But that's okay. Most of the stuff that we have marked down that low, we want to go on anyway. So, you know, we really don't want to pay people to take it and we really don't want to lose money. But in the same respect, most of our items we buy with enough room uh, that we can do something like this. So, uh, sales back on, 20% <laughs> off again. We're going to end it Monday, uh, or I'm sorry, Tuesday morning. But um, I may extend that just because uh, we'd like to keep the consistency going. Um, like I said, sales dismal overnight. Did pick up once the sale kicked in around 11 o'clock today, a.m. Um, so, uh, yeah, things did improve a little bit. Still kind of eh for the day. Um, not a total total like oh crap we we messed up uh type of thing uh but about uh, we're about five shy of our average so eh, it is what it is starting with this uh this is riveting reading i'm sure this is the compressed air handbook yeah it's a compressed air handbook it's i'm sure it's you know, I feel like you'd read something like this to uh, fall asleep. That would be my guess. Who gets blowing glass? Oh, how interesting. Um, yeah, so that's what this is. The, the compressed air handbook from 1947. Uh, don't walk by these if you see them, though. $10 plus shipping. So I think you paid a quarter for that thing. Uh, so not mad at all. 
Next up, um, Adidas track pants. These are navy and royal blue track pants, size small. Um, new with the tags, um, so just your run-of-the-mill Adidas pants here. Uh, not vintage, pretty new, $17 plus shipping. Sold a, we don't sell a lot of local Pittsburgh stuff. We learned our lesson with that. Um, but if, uh, if we do see stuff new with the tags, we will grab it. Um, this was actually Sarah's mom's shirt. She bought this for herself and uh, didn't like it. So she returned, she was going to return it and she just gave it to us. Uh, the sell on eBay. This is a women's large fanatics, Pittsburgh penguins, long sleeve shirt. Uh, new with the tags right here. It is official. It is real stuff not and it's the nhl logo on it right there eight dollars and fifty cents for this plus shipping and thanks mom again we appreciate it uh the next thing might look a little familiar um that's because it sold last week and she's back uh she got returned to us um we didn't notice she had a t small tear under her arm here and then one small one right here uh, so we were more than gracious to take it back for two reasons. One, we knew she was going to sell because she is a uh, Jessmar kid. So they are sought after. So we retook some pictures of the tear, uh, tears and then um, disclosed it in the description and resold her. However, her shoes didn't make it back to us for some reasons and we're not sure why. But uh, it is what it is. Um, so this little girl, Jessmar kid, blonde hair green eyes. I believe they're green. Well, they look green. Uh, blonde hair, green eyes. Uh, th $30 plus shipping for the second time. Next up is this. This is a crate and barrel, uh, 10 and a half inch olive wood cheese cutting board. We need that because we're eating so much cheese. This wouldn't be big enough though, because we like to eat a lot of cheese. Um, star shooter board new with tag, right? There. Well, the camera's not going to focus because my face is there. We go. Um, olive wood. Interesting note about olive wood. Our cats love this stuff. As soon as it comes in the house, they got to, you know, rub on it and uh, they just love it. So we have to keep it away from them. Um, $20 for this plus shipping. Next up is a magazine. Uh, this is Outdoor Life from February 1962. Um, this was actually bought by a gentleman who collects stuff that has magazines that have hounds on them. There are some hounds right there. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to do this, and I hope I don't get flagged for it, but there's some advertising on the back that is rather comical. Um, this was back in the day when uh, people didn't know cigarettes were that bad for you, uh, or they weren't telling anybody, but uh, this is quite comical. Why don't you settle back and have a full-flavored smoke? Mighty good Menkins? I have no idea what that means, but <laughs> this guy's got a tattoo on his hand, which is a little strange for 1962, but whatever. Uh, it's <laughs> interesting. Uh, old cigarette advertisements crack me up. Sarah likes them too. Seven dollars and fifty cents for the magazine, by the way, plus shipping. We sold. Um, we pulled some of the remaining um, books that we had down, uh, and then relisted them. Just kind of refresh the thing. Um, if you guys don't do that, you should. If some of the stuff that gets stale in your store, um, take them off, relist them. Uh, I, we don't do. Uh, we don't do relist. We actually hit sell similar and then put them back on. And it actually kind of just refreshes the page, maybe kicks it up to the, the top of the list, especially if it's something like heritage books and there's tons of them for sale. Um, it, it helps kind of uh, just refresh it and get you back up to the top. So if you guys don't do that, you should. Uh, and it helped today when uh, Sarah did it this morning. Um, and we sold this uh, first night Gilbert and Sullivan. Um, this is a uh, Gilbert and Sullivan Heritage Press uh, 1958 program. So I guess this is all the programs from Gilbert and Sullivan. Um, pretty big, eight dollars plus shipping for that. And then uh, we sold another one. This is the uh, Last Days of Pompeo um, Heritage Press from 1984. Not one of the more popular ones. How about I hold it so that you guys can see that? There we go. Uh, and it was still upside down. Wow. 
here you go. That's what a great, 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 great person I am. Uh, this was four bucks plus shipping. Uh, sold another book. This has been with us for a while. We got this at the bins a while back. This is Area 51 uh, Softback. Uh, $2.40 for that. Sold some Tupperware. We do like selling the vintage Tupperware. These are, my grandmother had these. Uh, we used to eat cereal out of them. They're like plastic bowls. Um, Tupperware, vintage Tupperware, plastic bowls. I remember these well. Um, these were $10 plus shipping. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So $10 plus shipping. Sold some uh, bowling shoes. <laughs> we got these at the funeral home. Um, sale. These are vintage Dexter bowling shoes. They certainly are not new, but they are in really good shape. So whoever bought these didn't keep bowling for very long. Um, these are bowling shoes size 10 medium. Uh, sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. There's two of them, by the way, in this box, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> Next up, it's our last one of these. It's a shame, too. I wish we had tons of these. We sold a whole bunch of them. Um, vintage spring made uh, twin sheet. You've seen this uh, at least six times now. $18 plus shipping. Sold some more out of that doll collection. These are the adventures of two Dutch dolls. <laughs> it's right here. It's definitely vintage, and it's definitely weird. <laughs> it's It's got like these two like odd wooden dolls in it <laughs> and there's two of them that's the lady this is the dude <laughs> this is the strangest thing I've ever seen but and then there's a book in there that is their adventure and I guess you could act out their adventure with the little dolls you could be like hey we're going to the store okay like that? Is that how it works? Oh, anyways, um, this is worth some money, believe it or not. Um, $45 for this, plus shipping. We do still have a handful of these great courses left. Um, we've been selling through them and we've actually bought a few more since then. Um, this is the other. Um, really wish my camera would stop focusing on that guitar back there. There it is. The other, 19 or sorry 1492 um uh, yeah i guess the making of the roman empire would be my guess um so we still, do still have them this is dvd with the booklet uh nine dollars and sixty cents for this plus shipping <laughs> this next thing has sold twice now this is its third time it's been sold and every time they've bailed on it once one person bought it twice and then uh we didn't allow them to buy it a third time but they tried um, you, you, you get, you get a couple chances with us. You get one and then if something happens, it's weird. We understand the second time, but we're not, we're not going round three. If you're, you're going to continue to cancel orders on us. And then, um, it sold again today and I made sure it wasn't the same person. Um, this is the Lord of the Rings, Smeagol Gollum, uh, talking action figure. So this is Smeagol. The My Precious Guy from Lord of the Rings. Um, I guess he talks. The Try Me feature uh, long since has passed. Um, he doesn't talk anymore. But um, So the batteries are probably dead. Or, uh, you know, well, they're probably dead. The batteries are probably dead. Um, but $13.20 free shipping for Schmeagle. Next up, uh, not a brand we sell a lot of. But when we saw them, we thought, oh, yeah, we got to buy them. Because they're active wear. These are Reebok Play Dry um leggings or tights i guess you call them i guess they're not really tights because they have this like uh, drawstring on them but they are kind of fitted they're not you know flowy type workout pants um it even says fitted right there stop focusing on the guitar there we go fitted um so new with tags reebok um again reebok we don't sell a lot of their stuff because we hadn't have access to it uh retail on this was $39.99. We sold it for $12 plus shipping. Out of the active wear brands, unfortunately, Reebok is the low end. Um, you know, as far as the big brands, there's Nike, Under Armour, Reebok, um, and Adidas. And uh, 
Reebok tends to bring up the rear on that. Even Puma, I think, is probably a little better than them. And it's unfortunate. When I was a kid, Reebok was the thing. Everybody had the pump shoes. You know, the Reebok pumps. Those were... If you had a pair of those, especially the ones where the pump was the ba was like a basketball, those were the shoes. I had a pair of those, and I was probably the coolest kid in school. I mean, of course. And last for today... It's these uh, DC Comic GI Combat um, comics. They are dollar comics from the 70s. Um, three run, three issue run here. Number 214, 215, and 216. The Haunted Tank Snow Killers. Right here. GI Combat, The Haunted Tank Snow Killers. That sounds just awful in every way. $9 plus shipping. Hello everybody, welcome back. Today is Thursday, July 15th. Getting close to vacation. Pretty happy. Uh, we had another dismal overnight. <laughs> Sales were terrible. Uh, we sold hardly anything overnight. And then, today, so. Happy about it. Uh, sold some good stuff. Uh, sold a couple of high dollar ones too, so can't beat that. Um, so we'll start it off with this. This is a Cleetons, Cleetons, Cretans Clearwater Revival. Um, Cretans Gold is the name of this one. It's a pretty cool record. It's got like different panels on it that I've heard. So that's kind of cool. Uh, five bucks plus shipping. This we got that from uh, the garage sales that we went to. Paid fifty cents for it. So decent turnaround there. Uh, we sold another heritage book. <laughs> the, oh man, some of these names. This is the uh, Romance of Tristan and Insolent? I don't know. You guys can figure it out. I'm sure it's a common thing that I'm just not thinking of. Uh, Six dollars for this plus shipping. Sold some shorts. These are Express Men's Slim Fit Size 34 shorts with little boat anchors on them. And little boat anchors on them. Interesting. Eleven dollars plus shipping for that. Next up, another one of those Schwinn bags. Uh, they just sat around and then boom, sold them both in two days. Uh, so I'm remove the strap so you can see it. It says Schwinn on it. Got a bike from the 1980s. Sixteen dollars plus shipping. Got some books. Uh, these we got. Not sure where we got these to be honest with you. I think we got them at a thrift store. Um, these are um, five classic home bookshelf children's classics from 1963. There's Black Beauty, Tom Sawyer, Adventures of Huck Finn, Swiss Family, Robin Swiss Family Robinson, and The Wizard of Oz. Let's see if I can hold these long enough. So there they are. $14 for all those, plus shipping. Running out of space to put things. Put them there. Sold some more of those, uh, well these aren't really wax packs, but uh, sealed baseball cards, I guess we'll call these. These are 1992 score baseball cards right here. Um, and then we've also um, threw in 1992 leaf cards right here. Right there. Um, so four of the leaf and six of the score baseball cards, $14.80. This was a good buy for us. Plus shipping, by the way. Uh, oh, no. Free shipping on those. Sold Harry and Son laser disc Sealed. Never been opened. Don't remember this movie. Paul Newman was in it. And that's the only name I recognize. So, uh, Harry and Son on Laserdisc. Right there. Never been opened. It's pretty crazy. It's never been opened. This is the extended play. <laughs> $11.20. Plus shipping. Sold another record. This is Michael McDonald looking back. I know who he is. I don't, however, know any songs on this album. But here it is. Michael with the, the flowing hair going on there. You know, if I was thinner, I had more hair. Hold on, let me... No? No. Uh, Four dollars plus shipping. Sold a uh, Goose Down um, puffer vest. This is a plaid puffer vest right here. 
Uh, like new without the tags, women's petite extra large. Um, I think we got this at the bins. It's a Land's End uh, puffer vest. Uh, $12.80 plus shipping. Sold some little porcelain uh, bird and butterfly um, porcelain figures. This came out of that lot that we got at the uh, auction a while back. Um, $9.60 for those. Free shipping. Sold another cabbage patch She's down here. Um, she had a few issues, so this one didn't go for quite as much money. Uh, this is a 1980s cabbage patch. Uh, pink sweater with a duck dress. Oh, that's a duck dress, all right. There she is with her duck dress. Um, she had a little bit of issue. She had a little staining on her hand here. Kind of a birthmark. <laughs> so uh, She went for $24 plus shipping. It's old tank top. We're just about out of tank tops. Um, I may buy some more before the season's over just because they sell so well. This is an Empire uh, tank top from Zoomies. Looks like they were People had sold it. It was on sale for twenty bucks. We sold it for seven dollars and fifty-five cents plus shipping. Sold a cat bowl. I wanted Sarah to keep this for our cats because we have a cat that is a little chubby and gray. But uh, this is a party cat bowl. <laughs> He's having a good time. Uh, so uh, yeah, party cat bowl, brand new. Uh, sold for nine bucks. Free shipping. Big sale for the day is this one. Um, we got lots of offers on this, and most of them were really offensive. <laughs> it's the only word I can use to describe it. Um, this is worth quite a bit of money, and uh, the offers we were getting on this is were terrible. Um, this is a Cleopatra Barbie doll, Elizabeth Taylor collection, Queen of Egypt. Um, brand new, never been out of here. She's still strapped in there. Um, these are worth a fair amount of money. They are from what year? I can find a year for you guys, and you guys, if you see them, get them. 1999, so not too old. Um, it's around the time I graduated high school, so it can't be that long to get them. Uh, $90 for this one, plus shipping. Uh, these are another thing to keep an eye out for, and uh, I would have walked by these if a friend of ours didn't send a few of these in a mystery box for us. These are purse size Estee Lauder uh, cologne. They're very, very tiny little bottles of cologne. Um, and they, you would think they'd be worthless, and they're not. Uh, $12 for that little bottle, plus shipping. Sold a troll right here. This is a troll. A vintage 1986 uh, damn troll. <laughs> Got jokes. I'm going to keep them all to myself. Uh, this troll, uh, $7 plus shipping. It's old Candyland. It's a Candyland board game from 2001. For whatever reason, the 2001 version of this board game is actually worth quite a bit of money if it's sealed. Um, even if it's not, it's worth a decent amount of money, but um, I don't know that I'd grab it if, it was, if it's not sealed because... You know how that goes. But this one is sealed. We paid $5 for it at a garage sale. Um, for some reason, it's just, it's worth, it may be it's the last year that they did this, or maybe it's the last year it was the classic version of Candyland. I'm not sure. $25 for this, plus shipping. Sold another one of those uh, antique porcelain dolls from Japan. There it uh, is. $12.50 for that. Put that shipping. Sean, you struck again. You can add a couple more things off of us. This is the Berenstein Bears trim a tree. Or trim the tree. My apologies. There. And I also bought this women's sweater. Right here. I assume this is going to be for your wife then. And the book is for you. I guess. <laughs> uh, $7 for the sweater. $3 for the book. Sean, thank you so much. I don't have any more swag that I can include in these packages because you have it all already. Um, reach out to me if, you, if there's something that you want. Uh, or if you want more stickers, I'll send you more stickers. Uh, but thank you so much for the purchases. We appreciate it. Next up, sold a uh, dashiki. This is a African tribal dashiki leaf design. Right there. Um, it's embroidered, so it's a nice, it's a nice piece of uh, clothing. Uh, $19.60 for this. Plus shipping. Sold Saturday Night Fever. Um, 
from 1977. Well, bam. So this is the two LP set from Saturday Night Fever. We've got the Bee Gees on the back. Right there. Um, Six dollars plus shipping for that. Those are always quick sellers too, and that one sat for a little while longer, but uh, they always sell. If you see them and they're cheap enough, just grab them. And last for today is this. This is another dashiki. This is a true vintage 70s dashiki right here. Orange, gold. Um, got the bell sleeves on it, so big sleeves. $15 for this. Plus shipping. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Today is Friday. Yay, happy Friday. Uh, July 16th. And um, sales working. Uh, decent sales today. I uh, can't complain. Starting off with this right here. This is uh, Billy Joel, the nylon curtain right here. Um, his records sell really well. $4.80 for this plus shipping. Paid 50 cents for it. So not bad there. Sold a antique reproduction German head um, right here. Just a bald baby doll head. <laughs> $15 for that plus shipping. Next up are some H&M shirts. We have a lot of two. Uh, there's those two in here. Two pink H&M shirts, uh, V-necks, new with the tags. Um, and then a lot of two, a black and a navy. So navy, black. H&M V-neck shirts. They're pretty standard V-neck shirts. Um, $16 free shipping on those. H&M stuff's nice, but doesn't sell for big money, unfortunately. Uh, so, you know. Take what you can get when you see that stuff new with tags. Uh, just know that you're not going to get as much as most stuff new with tags. But it is good stuff. Um, sold a lot of three Nickelodeon Spongebob DVDs. We don't really sell a lot of DVDs, but these were included in with... Uh, that's something we got an auction so we've already made our money back on all this so these aren't going to be uh, big money makers for sure um so there they all are right there five dollars and twenty cents plus shipping for those sold of um we got this with uh, that mystery box from a friend of ours this is a martin luther king pendant uh from 1960s it's a uh, pretty cool it's like a it's like a cross. It's really going to be really hard to make out Martin Luther King in there, but there he is. Um, it's just a really big cross pendant. It's really cool. Um, cool piece of history. $28 plus shipping for that. Sold a Squishimal Series 1. Uh -huh, right here. He's very squishy. Um, new with the tags. There's tag. Uh, $5.60 free shipping for that. We've had that for quite a while. Uh... Sarah is selling this stuff like crazy. This is more of that moisture therapy lip balm from Avon. Uh, ten for ten dollars, free shipping. So this Wizard of Oz. Uh, Sarah got this retail arbitrage at Ollie's. It's a Wizard of Oz Pez series, 70th anniversary limited edition Pez dispenser. Seventeen dollars and sixty cents. Paid five bucks for it. Um, plus shipping. Sold a board game. This is a bolo for you guys. You guys see what these things you definitely are going to want to pick it up. We got this at that garage sale where we got the trains. Um, it wasn't on camera because uh, it was up like on the grass, like behind this guy. So we didn't, I didn't really venture up there. But this is Zeria right here, an adult party game. <laughs> it looks like it's kind of like an Ouija board, but not sure exactly what it is it doesn't really say doesn't have a lot of description on it. it does say ages 10 to adult so i guess it can't be too adulty um so we bought this for a quarter that's right and we sold it for 116 dollars plus shipping so there's the logo for you guys uh the back looks like this and uh if you see it and it's got a box. Even if it doesn't have a box, I bet it's worth some money. Um, you definitely are going to want to grab that. Because that's worth the money. And I don't think a lot of people know that it's worth that much money. So, uh, yeah. Bolo alert. Next up is this. It's an Adidas jacket. It's really cool, Adidas jacket. It's like white and red. It's got Adidas down the side here. Uh, this is a men's size 
I'm sorry, just size medium. Um, it's got the back. It's a really cool jacket. I like it a lot. Uh, not new with the tags, but $10. Oh, I'm sorry, it is new with the tags. Where's the tag? No, I might see a tag. There it is. It's down in here. It's right there. There's the tag. Uh, $10 plus shipping for that. It's all that beach towel that Sarah got at the bins. It's right here. I'm not going to unfold it because it's so neatly folded. I don't want to mess this up. Um, $10. So I paid a quarter for it. $10 plus shipping for the beach towel. Sold two pair of uh, uh, camo jeans. These are Free World um, camo. Well, they're not really jeans. I guess these are shorts. Camo uh, shorts, size 32, new with the tags. And then we sold these Bullhead uh, denim, Bullhead Denim Company, size 32, 32 pants. Um, $16.50 for the pants, $15 for the shorts, plus shipping on both of those. So that was a good deal. Uh, sold two more of those amazing Spider-Man books. You guys have seen plenty of these by now. Um, $15.60 a piece. We only got two left. So, uh, taking away at that, that was a good buy. Um, yeah, we bought them for, I think, the whole case for like 30 bucks or something. So, good buy. Uh, sold some hands. Right here. These are doll hands. Um, white glazed reproduction doll hands. Chubby baby doll arms is what we're calling them. Okay. <laughs> $10.50 plus shipping. Sold a uh, 1990s rat women's uh, baby doll belly shirt right here. Uh, rat stuff sells really well. So if you see anything with uh, the band Rat on it, they sell really, really well. $28 for this plus shipping. So goodbye there. Got those in the rest of the band shirts. Sold this uh, vintage Walt Disney mechanical Valentine Snow White uh, dwarf. This is sleepy. It's very sleepy playing his accordion. Uh, $8 for this, plus shipping. Just one. There's only one in here. Sold uh, that Terminator 2 Judgment Day cards. Just one pack of them right here. Um, $4.50 free shipping for that. Sold a Game Gear game. Um, I loved this game when I was a kid because I had a Game Gear, and this game was my favorite game to play. It's Aladdin for the Game Gear. Uh, it is untested because we don't have a Game Gear to test, test on, and those are... Hard to find. Um, Four dollars for the Game Gear game plus shipping. We just talked about it on the live stream last night. How we didn't have luck selling plushes, and look at this. Pikachu sold. Is that one of you guys? Did you guys buy a Pikachu? Nobody said anything. But uh, yeah, we were just talking about it. It always happens that way. Me and Sarah talk about things in the car, and then the next day it sold. So uh, this is Pikachu. Still has his tag. Um, 2014. Uh, uh, it was the date this plush was made. $14 free shipping for Pikachu. Uh, sold more Avon uh, moisture therapy, just like the last one, another 10 piece. $16 free shipping. Oh, I'm sorry, those were. We sold two of them for $16. So there's three here, sold two packs of them for $16. So obviously Sarah made a deal with someone there. <sighs> Next up, Sean, you're our number one customer. Keep buying stuff. These are uh, Tommy jeans. They are mom jeans. They are button fly, uh, high waisted. They're calling them mom jeans. Size nine. Um, Hundred percent cotton. Six dollars plus shipping there. And we sold some baby doll parts. These are arms and legs, right here. Um, these sold for fifteen dollars plus shipping. Sold the PGA Tour cards from 1991, right here. Uh, these came in that lot where I thought Tiger Woods was <laughs> in the middle. 10 years. 2001 is the ones you want to look for. Those will have, those might have Tiger in them. $5.20 plus shipping on those. We sold a Buzz Poets shirt. Pretty cool shirt with the BP logo and then Buzz Poets. Clever. Um, this is a adult size large. $10 plus shipping for the shirt. And last for today and for the week is a, a Holister orange shirt, um, San Onfi, Onfri, State Beach, should know that, so near, I used to live near there, uh, $11.20 for the 
for the shirt. It is new with tags. It is a size small. Plus shipping. All right, and that is it for our week. Uh, it was a decent week. We're gonna, we're probably gonna just keep the sale going, but we're gonna stop it and then start it again. Uh, a friend of ours said, don't just make a month long sale, just stop and start them again. It will actually help the algorithm a little bit. So that's actually what the plan is, probably until vacation, and then we might just uh, leave it go for vacation, or who knows, maybe we'll just leave it on sale all the way through vacation and have insane amounts of orders to pack when we get back. So who knows, but that's about it. We are getting dangerously close to a thousand. We are currently, while I'm talking to you, we are at 964, I believe, 963, somewhere around there. It fluctuates up and down because there's some spam accounts that YouTube will remove and then you'll go down one and go back up one. So I think it's right around 963. So we are close. So if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to the channel, just do me a favor and click the subscribe button. Um, if you watch this far, you must like me somewhat. <laughs> so click the subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. And uh, that's it for this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, look, looking forward, got some auctions this weekend. Uh, got a few things uh, going on early next week. So probably a thrift store video and an auction video. Um, and then uh, looking to shoot Sarah's first Cabbage Patch Extreme Makeover as well. So uh, some stuff to look forward to there. Um, and that's about it. If you haven't, again, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Good day, sir!